day, epic day. I'm going to go see the hideaway. About to enter and oh, hold on, I see that door. There's the door. <laughs> Look who it is, guys. It's the Mustang Hunter himself. Oh, this is where the magic happens. This is where it all happens. Oh, God, I got to get this bone shaker. Oh, yeah, you can have it. I got it. Hey, what? I just picked that up today. Where'd you find that? Target in Peoria. Target in Peoria. I... Dude, I'm so stoked. So here you go. This is why it's good <laughs> to know these guys. Look at that. Yeah, and I finally found this Look one. Look at that. Because I had just passed it up maybe a few months ago. And so I seen that one in the bone shaker and I was like, I don't know if he has it or not. I am, so, I am digging these ID cards. I just found this one. The Mustang? Yeah, yeah. I just found that one. And then I, I know you have those ones. Yeah, I have, I have all of those. Yeah. Well, now you have some fun. Man, look at this, guys. Guys, look at this. That is Carol Shelby's signature. Yeah, yeah. Man, that is epic. 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 So this oh, one's okay. the Check it exclusive. Out. I know you didn't have the black one. I know you had the gray. And these are two yeah. of the E case. Erkenstein. Of course, you know you have to have the Grand Cross because it is a Porsche SUV, but they just can't license it as a Porsche. Oh, okay. So you it, don't yeah, it does security. definitely look like it. Check yeah. that out. Thank you, sir. So, you were the one that educated me on the fact that the Roger Dodger is not a fantasy car. I kept calling it a fantasy car, and it is not a fantasy car. Yeah. 73 Dodge Charger. All right. Oh, oh man. Okay. I got. <laughs> I got to look around some more. Oh my gosh. This place is epic. This place is epic. I got to get me one of these. Yeah. So what I did was, this one was kind of empty, so I moved everything into another shipper. I'm yeah. Like, hey, can I, I have? take this? They're like, sure. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta get me one of those. Yeah. Definitely. It's definitely a game changer. Dude, this place is. This is cooler in person. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, several times he's pointed out his ugliest car. There ugliest. it is. By far my ugliest. His ugliest car. There it is, guys. Yeah. Um, dude, this is, this is absolutely epic. Epic, epic, epic. I got him that. Yep, yep. And <laughs> this one right here. Don't forget that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a birthday present. Yep. But... Hold on, I gotta find the King Nut exclusive. It's by ear, so. It is right there. <laughs> See right there? King Nut diecast. <laughs> yeah. I didn't make that car, I didn't customize that car. <laughs> I, just, I just pulled it out of a five pack and gave it to him and then he Straight made it special. The store, this is so cool. So yeah, I, I just picked up that Toyota so, GR Supra. You know, oh, and guys, hey, look, the shelves. Yep, yeah. I showed y'all how to make these and go out and make them because look at how much better they look when they're free. I agree with that one. <laughs> look at how much better they look when they're free. Look at that Viper. That's yeah, I was really surprised I opened that one because it is an older cast, but I needed to. Yeah, very two, cool, I very two cool. More coming, coming in the mail, the 62. First person to actually look at this. Dude, thanks for the. Oh, for sure, man. Thanks for the stuff. Hanging out with a Mustang Hunter is always a blast. Uh, you know, he's just so knowledgeable and fun and humble. And yeah, hanging out with him was always a blast. It was great to see his collection live finally. Um, we've been meeting up out. You know, we, we'll, we'll like meet up at Walmart or at Target or whatever and, and do hunting now. But that was the first time that I got to see his collection in person. And it's amazing. I mean, his collection is is amazing. Um, that Carol Shelby signature he has on that set. Oh, wish I had that. That guy, Carol Shelby's a legend, obviously. And the fact that he has something that Carol Shelby has touched and autographed, I think is pretty, pretty stinking cool. Um, but yeah, his... I'm trying to, I'm working on my collection. I'm trying to get my collection to that level. Um, but uh, anyway, you know, he gave me some things. So let's, 
you know, let's look at, let's look, take a closer look at some of the stuff that he's given me. Um, he informed me that the Roger Dodger is not a fantasy car, because I always thought it was. And then uh, he told me it wasn't, that it's a uh, 1973 Dodge. And uh, so he gave me a couple, because I had, I had the one gray steampunk, and then I, I obviously found the eight ball and such. But uh, he knew I didn't have this one, so he got me this color, or this livery of the steampunk, Roger Dodger, which is cool. I like it. I like this one a lot. But he also gave me the exclusive, I guess it's the Kroger or Fry's exclusive, Roger Dodger. And I mean, that gold, this is kind of a cool color. I bet this would look really good outside of this blister. So yeah, I think, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to resist not taking this out of this blister because because that paint, that, that color is just, that's cool. I like that a lot. So he gave me that. He also gave me this uh, Grand Cross, which is a fantasy car, I guess, by definition of Hot Wheels, but it's based off of Porsche, um, the Porsche SUV. And it looks a lot like the Porsche SUV. Um, but I don't think, I don't know, he, he was telling me something about how Hot Wheels doesn't have the licensing to call this a Porsche. So they didn't, they called it the Grand Cross. I'm not crazy about these color of these wheels, but the fact that this is based off of a Porsche and I love Porsche, I'm all things Porsche. Um, I was really stoked to have this. Now, he gave this to me and I knew that there, there was a um, Grand Cross that was in the Hot Wheels race team livery. And so I went to my fries and Fry's is always a good place, at least the ones that are close to me, for trying to find older cars. Um, and I found it, I found, actually I found two of these. I found two of the Grand Crosses. Um, and the crazy thing is, is so when I was given this one, I was looking at it and I'm like, look at that wheel tuck. I mean, there's no wheel gap in there. And I was thinking to myself, like, is that on purpose? Or did they, did that get bent and pushed up into, into the wheel well? And so, First thing I did when I found this one, I looked at it and I, that's that's on purpose because there's no gap there. That's a great wheel tuck on this car. So, anywho, uh, so I got, got a couple of Grand Crosses now because um, the Mustang Hunter educated me on that car. But when I first walked in, when I first walked in to, to the hideout, I, uh, I, I saw like the very first car I saw and it was one I've been looking for for at least a month now and I saw that like Big A found it the other day and had like had it on his channel and other others have found this particular car and had, you know put it on their channel and stuff and it was it's this bone shaker I walked in I saw it and I was like oh I gotta get me one of those and he's like oh well I actually picked that up for you I'm like are you kidding me so check this out, this car is amazing. This might be my favorite bone shaker. I'm gonna line them all up and take a look at it, but I think this, this one might be my favorite bone shaker. Um, but you know, this is why you have friends who have the same passion and desire to collect as you do, because you know, they're out there looking for stuff for you. And I'm looking for stuff for them. Now, the Mustang Hunter, it's really hard to find him stuff because he's got everything. But when you have friends who have the same passion and they're out there looking for stuff for you, the stuff you're looking for, it finds you. Like this bone shaker, it found me. I've been looking for it, but this thing, it found me. Um, so yeah, you know, get out there and find friends that have the same passions and desires as you do and help each other out. Now, it's photo montage time, and I'm thinking that because I grabbed two of these, and I was educated on it, this will, I think this will be the first fantasy car that I've done in a montage. Maybe we're gonna make some changes now. So uh, let's make this the photo montage and see how that works out. Here we go.